Very good. How the how the eyes, man?
Yeah, nice. Uh, kick one out to the side, see so you have some room. Do you need one bar or both? What? One, one bar or both? One bar. This one, you're just gonna go over and back. Ten times. Now what I want to do with this same bar is salsa. Okay, so it's over and back. Alright man. You gotta, you gotta pick that knee up and you gotta turn the hips. And go slow and go slow at first. Keep the so hips up, ribs down, pull back, 
Oh, uh huh. Long and slow. Slower. You almost smashed your leg on the bar there. <laughs> All right. I told you, bro. It is dark in here, but we opened the door and it's Antarctica. Is it cold? Oh yeah, man. Outside, it's like when we had to drive to the hospital. It was like 26. Oh my gosh. It's September. Oh, I guess. Bro, it's Vermont. I guess it's Vermont. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. Can't imagine how the Canadians are feeling. No, no, straighten that leg a little bit more. Your, uh, your, no, your other leg. Yeah, roll it out a little bit. But then, but then, reset your foot. Yep. So you're on your toe. Yep. Yeah, there it is. Don't you reach in a little bit for that? Straighten that right leg a little bit. Yeah. Uh huh. No, man, my eyesight's fine. It's just Is it, mine. Mine's terrible. <laughs> what's the like, What's the lowest line you can read, man? I wear contacts, so it's like with the, without. I mean, I can't see the big E on the board <laughs> without without uh, without help. Yeah, they have these like magic. One eye glass where the holes are like so tiny it makes everything like crystal clear. Man. Yeah, that's insane. They got all kind of like they took a picture. They can take a picture of like the back of your eye. It looks like it looks like outer space. It's like you see all the nerves and the blood vessels and stuff. It's, it's pretty crazy. Good. Oh. 
And that Burlington specialist said Dartmouth for reason doesn't even have her uh, specialist. So, I, yeah, I mean, I thought mine was hard to get into. I made this appointment like at the end of July, and it's the end of September now. It's the first appointment I could get in. of getting better as opposed to like he's like I don't he's like I don't play golf like I don't go play 18 holes with my buddies like I just like go to the range and work and like try to figure it out just rip it out 25 eyes you can with that right hip I'm <laughs> 
out to those guys because one of the guys that owns a company is in Chicago um, when I was up there and I still have a bunch of them I love the feel of them and I'm using the smallest version that they make uh, it's like the junior version which is like it's like a double mid-size uh, to to combat that uh, I got 20 you got 20 at 50 pounds. Let's try to get 20 in a row here, unbroken. So like, I just think the the balance of like, you know, everything is kind of instant gratification, but then balancing that out with, you know, something long process, long, uh, you know, because there's really no end game, right? It's like you're always, that's a, I think a good way to wrap your mind around it is there, there's no end, right? Like. There's no, like, we have goals along the way, but, like, physically, you need to be 
athletic and strong and coordinated your whole life. Like, it's not like a something that where you you hit you hit a certain point and you're just done with it. Here, I'll be pull up. There was a there was that I thought was applicable. So, and you guys are doing it, which is awesome. So the question was, and you work out every single day. Um, and his answer was yes, no matter what. It's every single day. I don't take days off. I found that when I stopped doing things, my body started to lower its tolerance level. So for me, actually a recovery mechanism and a training mechanism to tell my body, this is the force you need to produce. If I just sit and don't do anything for a couple days, all of a sudden gravity starts pushing on my body, then I can't hold the forces that I'm producing. Moving regularly helps, helps me put out all of the check engine lights when things come about. So when they arise, I can fix them really quickly. It's like I don't do physical therapy or massage work. Whenever I've tried deep tissue massage things or putting things onto my body or whatever, I felt like I got up off the table worse. You got uh, 60 pounds here? Hey, what we're gonna do here? Yeah, 60. 60, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna do same arm, same leg, right? So it's just gonna act on your, on your lower body a little different. Yep, right there. So you're pulling and turning into that front leg, yep. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm level. 
it was hard. I mean, you got to sort of know yourself too, right? You got to sort of like know how you handle things, and you get. I mean, again, you're young, dude, so you, you'll you'll learn it as you go, and you're more for those situations. Yeah. But I think having that mindset of like, you know, and it's, it's a whole thing about being in the moment. Like, you're not worried about the past. You know, you're not anxious about the future. You're just you're in it, bro. You're in the you're in the moment. You're flow, flowing. Drive that knee. Reach, pull. Very nice. Work or what? Like thing and like. You gotta get in the trenches, bro. So 15 here. One more set. Last one, heavy one. Smooth. Smooth the whole time. Very nice. Like you discard what doesn't, and you just, you keep, again, you're never gonna master it, but you're always getting better at it, like, it takes time, bro. Theme of today. It takes time, but hurry up. <laughs> McDonald's cheeseburger, right? It's like one is probably grown quickly, definitely cooked quickly. Good. Push, turn, pull. Yep. Pull that right side through. Sick, bro. Finish it. Strong with the foot. Good. That was legit. Very respectable. Yeah, yeah. You feel you feel good? I mean, your moves are good. Yeah. How'd the, how'd the, how'd the increased weight feel? I don't know. The increased weight was fine. Good. Good. Um, so, yeah. let's... Now, now, you tell me. Do you want to feel... Do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday this week. So is that tomorrow? Thursday? Yeah, sure. Yeah, does that work? Yep. Um, and I'll tailor it. Like we, again, we did some more movement stuff today, so I won't like bury you with the same stuff over and over again. But I think, I, I mean, I'm thinking to the point now where you can you can handle it. Like you're not. Uh, I don't think you'll. Uh, you know, Friday. <laughs> maybe we do bear fights tomorrow instead of Friday. Ooh. Or Thursday. Ooh. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe we do like one set tomorrow, one set Thursday. I'll maybe you space the bear fights and the uppercuts between days. I'll, jug I'll juggle maybe. it. Maybe. No, maybe. Maybe. I'll juggle it around. We'll Yo, is the bear fights and uppercuts, is that in the, uh, the pure motion challenge? Could be. Ah, damn. First one, Gave you an idea and I didn't know. It wasn't in there before I said it, people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> First person to put to get to 45 pounds. <laughs> ten, 10 bear fights at 45 pounds. Uh, and that's basically 20, not 10. Dude, that, that's insane. I, I, can, I can't even do that right now. Uh, but you and me will race to it. But uh, yeah, man, that was good. All right. Uh, I like it. I'll see you uh, tomorrow. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye, right, man. See you.